Hello and welcome to this overview of holiday historical romance novellas. I've read a dozen novellas in the past month or so and I've summarized them all here for you and I'll talk about them in alphabetical order by author last name. I'm Olivia, your new favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot and you're watching Random Olive Reads. We start with Made Under the Mistletoe by Annabelle Anders. This one, we have an eligible Earl who is courting a neighboring Viscount's daughter and expects to announce their engagement at their Christmas house party. However, he finds himself attracted to the girl's outspoken maid instead, who was previously a vicar's daughter and now kind of stuck in service. Our Earl is struggling with the possibility of having to propose to the lady he feels nothing for or to pursue the maid instead. Now remember that everything I'm talking about is a novella, so they're all pretty quick reads with um, just a burst of joy and energy. Next up, we have Merry Miss by Annabelle Anders. This is a book nine of the Regency Cocky Gents series. We have Delia, who's on the way to becoming an elderly lady's companion and finds some travel difficulty. She's nearly like lost in the snow on the side of the road, and she gets rescued by Jack. So while on his way to visit his family, he rescues a cold and shivering Delia and brings her to his room in an inn. There's a little bit of miscommunication here where he thinks she's on her way to work in a brothel and he's like, wow, great luck for me. Um, but that's obviously not the case. And she has no idea that he's a nobleman. After they go their separate ways, uh, eventually we find out that she's the companion to his grandmother. And so we get another few little bits of drama until they meet again. Next is All She Wants for Christmas by Amy Rose Bennett. This is uh, a closed door romance, so just FYI. A blue stocking artist Tessa escapes a ball by going to her art studio. Well, while she is there, she accidentally witnesses a little tryst between a rake and a widow. She's caught by the rake, Jasper, and he kisses her before she can leave. Their kiss is witnessed and they're forced to marry. Um, eventually Jasper finds his wife or intended wife very attractive. He's not displeased about the circumstances at all, but Tessa is actually super apprehensive because she has a secret that she's hiding. Well, once Jasper finds out what it is, he's super sweet about it. On the flip side, this novella by Amy Rose Bennett is open door, wide open, wide open. There's lots of encounters happening here. We have An Improper Christmas by Amy Rose Bennett. This is book three in the Improper Liaisons series. Uh, it's pretty much just a smutty novella. We have a young lady who catches her fiance with another woman and runs away from a house party. She ends up riding in a carriage with a notorious rake and then spends the night in his house. Yeah, um, a little bit out of character because she seemed kind of innocent in the first bit of the book. But if you're just there for a good time, that that's what that'll do for you. And then we have My Mistletoe Bow by Anna Bennett. This is, um, we have a young lady who breaks into an Earl's apartment to steal back her father's pocket watch. The Earl has a grudge against her father since his own father's fiance eloped with that guy and left the jilted man heartbroken. However, he's been telling his grandmother he, he is like courting a girl and his grandmother's coming to visit soon. So he's making her a deal. He'll give back the watch in exchange for a fake fiance. And of course, these two grow closer despite the antagonistic start. Next up, we have A Little Christmas Magic by Chastity Bolin, and this one is available on Kindle Unlimited. We have a dastardly cousin trying to evict a young woman from her home, saying that her brother has died overseas and that he has now inherited the manor. A solicitor from that cousin's law firm has come to town to assist in the eviction, but a romance begins between the lawyer and the young woman instead. The young woman has some sort of magical gift and has predicted a romance between herself and the lawyer, but isn't sure whether to believe it to be true or just like wishful thinking. 
Also, there's her belief that her brother hasn't died at all. We have a fun little insta-love trapped in a snowstorm novella here. Here we have The Duke's Christmas Miracle by Christina Britton. We have a lighthearted, reconnected childhood friend story. Poppy is at a house party as a spoiled debutante's ladies' maid and finds out that the Duke, who's being targeted by all the young ladies at the party, is her childhood friend Marcus. When Poppy is cruelly dismissed by the debutante and her family, Marcus keeps her around at the house as his aunt's companion with the goal of convincing her to stay for good. Next, we have Her Christmas Rogue by Christy Caldwell. This one is also available on Kindle Unlimited. We have Winnie, who is in love with her older brother's best friend, but he has only ever seen her as a younger sister. Of course, we find out that he's been attracted to her for this whole time. Um, having had two unsuccessful seasons, she is fearing that her mother is going to play matchmaker at an upcoming house party. And so we have Trent, who is a second son to a Marquess and all around rogue, knows that he's not worthy of Winnie and basically ignores her or avoids her because of his like shameful desire. This one is a sweet and quick read. I generally loved how Winnie was direct in telling Trent how she feels and how she feels like they can overcome anything and her parents would totally approve. Next, we have A Christmas Gone Perfectly Wrong by Cecilia Grant. This is the prequel novella to the Black Share Family series. It takes place years before the first book in the series. This one finds our oldest brother of the Black Share family out shopping for a hunting falcon as a gift for his sister. When he visits the nobleman who sells the birds, he meets the man's beautiful daughter. They're complete opposites in terms of personality and in adherence to propriety. Through chance and mischief, rain, snow, broken carriages, and Christmas itself, uh, these two get stuck together for longer than they had anticipating, anticipated, eventually needing to have a fake marriage to keep up appearances in the town where they're seeking shelter. So over time, Our Lady enables our guy to let go of some of his seriousness and actually have some fun. Next, we have A Holiday by Gaslight by Mimi Matthews. This is set in uh, Victorian England. We have Sophie, the eldest daughter of a baronet who has been courting Mr. Edward Sharp for two months and breaks it off because they seemingly don't suit. Uh, it's because during the courtship, it was awkward and stilted. He was trying way too hard to being a gentleman. She decides to give him another chance with his holiday visit to her family's house and this time, he knows he better work hard to win her over. This one is super sweet, and I really enjoyed this. This one is so short, I'm not even sure we can even call it a novella. A Christmas Kiss by Jess Michaels is a super short, five-chapter marriage reconciliation story. We start with Amelia, who is begrudgingly traveling to her husband's family estate for the holidays and knowing that she will have to prep it and put on a brave face when their families gather for the holidays. She had been estranged from her husband since the day after her wedding when she found out that he only married her for the money. She was completely heartbroken because she thought their connection was genuine and she was in love with him. And at this point in the story, she hasn't seen him in six months. When she arrives, her husband is there to greet her and is suspiciously kind and solicitous. Turns out he asked her to come a week early to set up the house, but he wanted a week alone with her to win her back through kind gestures, kisses, and other bedroom activities. Short, simple reconciliation here, lots of steam. And lastly, I will tell you about The Governess Gamble by Tracy Sumner. This one is also available on Kindle Unlimited. We have um, a novella that is part of the Duchess Society series. So while an American heiress is waiting for an appointment, she over overhears a very handsome Viscount ask for assistance in finding a governess for his new six-year-old ward. 
looking for a chance to sketch the man before she is stuck in a cold and lonely marriage, she volunteers for the temporary position. This was a very sweet and quick read with our American lady being ultra transparent and blunt about her attraction to the Viscount, plus our impoverished lord trying to do the right thing and resist the lady. Um, and also he is like slowly melting for his young ward and thinking, you know, hey, I do like this parenthood thing. I like interacting with children. And of course, they end up having honest conversations about the Viscount's sad financial state, his goals, his hidden profession, and then plus her backstory with her ruination that led to her father pushing her to marry. Um, overall, it's just another quick, easy holiday novella to read. So thanks everyone for watching this video. Links to all the books I've discussed are in the description box. Like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.